you started a Facebook group and now no one's talking to each other, they're not talking to you and there's no engagement and it's a little like that weird party you went to once where everyone was sitting there looking at each other and there was no music and it was weird and you couldn't wait to get out of there. Sounds familiar? Creating and managing a really engaged Facebook group can be a challenge. It's definitely not a case of you build it and they will come. Creating engagement inside a Facebook group is almost like running a good party. You are the host of this party and you have to make sure everyone in the party is having a good time. So what do parties and Facebook groups have in common? Actually lots. Great parties start with a great theme. 70s dress up, naughty 40s, priests and prostitutes. No wait, that would be a terrible Facebook group. A theme is a dream or an ambition, an ideal or a vision that all the members of the group share. It's usually not something they all do or something they all buy, like your product or service, but rather it's someone they want to become or something they want from life. Pick your group theme based on who your followers want to become as a result of hanging out in your group. The next step is sending out your invitations. The more exclusive your event, the more desirable your invitations. Promote your group on all your social media platforms. Invite people on your list to join. Tell them what's in it for them and why it would be amazing for them to be in this group. But please, 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 please make people request to join so that they want to be in the group. I bet you, you've never in your life kidnapped someone and dropped them in the middle of a party. So don't Facebook nap people and drop them in the middle of your group. If people didn't ask to be in your group, they are not gonna engage with the content of your group. Five real engaged people in a group is far better than 500 or 5,000 people who don't give a rat's ass about your group. So use those magnificent marketing skills you have and make them want to be in your group. When you're at the party, it's your job as the host of the party to introduce people to each other, to make connections, to point out similarities, to find creative ways to stimulate conversation. It's exactly the same inside your group. Welcome people as they arrive in your group. Let them share something about themselves. Make connections. Introduce people to each other. Connect people with common interests. Ask lots of questions and use theme days to stimulate the conversation. Always engage with the conversation and keep the chatter going. As the host of this group, it's up to you to build the momentum of your group and to maintain engagement. Once your group gets big enough and you've done a good enough job of creating the culture in your group, then the members will start taking over. But until then, it's Whack, 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 whack. Finally, remember, just like at a party, there'll only be one or two people who will help you clean up afterwards. You'll only ever have a handful of people who consistently engage in the long run. Let those people know you appreciate them and that you value their input. That's it, folks. Now you know how to throw an awesome party and how to create an engaging Facebook group. If you wanna see how I throw a killer party, then go to the link below this video. In if you wanna see how I throw a killer party, then go to the link below this video and request to join the Shine community. Inside that group, you'll find many coaches, consultants, healers, creatives, teachers, trainers, and entrepreneurs who are creating a life of freedom and flexibility using Facebook marketing. Remember to tag a friend who's looking to grow their own Facebook community. Have a Facebook fabulous week and I'll see you next week.